tuned in with the Muscle Chef. And today, I want to talk about how to speed up your metabolism. In order to speed up your metabolism, you must know your basal metabolic rate. What is that? That is the number of calories required to keep your body functioning at rest. So, what I'm going to give you is an example of how I start my breakfast all the way to dinner throughout my day. So, the most important meal of the day starts at about 7 o'clock, which is breakfast. It doesn't have to be fancy, just a simple oats and eggs. I prefer to do egg whites. If I'm going to do five eggs, I do uh, four egg whites and one yolk. Half to two and a half hours after eating breakfast, you should always have a snack. And I prefer a snack of a natural fruit and plain nuts, which is healthy fat. One of these times when your body starts to fuel off of the food and not your muscle or fat. Between these two meals here, this one is not gonna hold me that long. So maybe I'll use this snack for a pre-workout, and after that, I'll have my first lunch of the day, which is not a big meal, it doesn't have to be heavy, just something so you can keep your metabolism rolling. This is simple, it's just uh, brown rice, chicken, and uh, mixed vegetables, cauliflower, broccoli, and carrots. All right, so after you work out, it's important to get to replenish your body with some type of protein. So either it's a shake or I have a protein bar here filled with oats and uh, grains, just full of energy and a little bit of nuts to get the protein source there. And not too long after that, I'm gonna have my second lunch, right? One and a half, two and a half hours again. I have my second lunch, this one has sweet potatoes, okay? Same thing, sweet potatoes, not too much of portion size, but just enough to keep your metabolism going. Not too long after this one, we're coming to uh, another snack. This is not a heavy snack. These are rice cakes. Rice cakes are very light, depending on which kind you get. Low sodium, low sugar, low carbohydrates. I can eat them plain, but if you need to add some flavor to it, you can add a little bit of peanut butter, which is not gonna be a big slob or just a nice thin layer just to add a little bit of taste to it. After you've completed all these meals, you should be close to reaching your macros and calorie counts for the day. So, my suggestion for dinner is to eat a low carb, high protein meal. And what I have here is a whole grain wrap. I have tuna fish, cucumbers, and tomato. Very high in protein but low in carbohydrates to keep the flat stomach and to lose weight if that's your goal. One of the most important factors of keeping your body lean, flushing your system out, is drinking a lot of water. Before you even eat breakfast, the first thing you should do is have a glass of water and how you calculate how much water you should drink. You take your body weight and divide it by two and that's how many ounces you should drink throughout the day. If you like this video, please subscribe and click like in order to get more tips of how to keep a great body.